Hey everybody, I'm Joseph Ross, and this is History 208, Great Trials in World History. I like to do an intro video so that you can see there's a real person behind the course, and I look forward to working with all of you throughout our time together. Uh, what I'd like to do is just give you a brief overview of what you can expect in this course and what I want you to be working on in these first few days of our time together. So. Uh, if you look, I have an outline here of what we're going to be talking about. Um, there's a source that I'd like for you to be looking at, and that's available online, and I want you to participate in a discussion on that. And then I would just want to give a few little uh, comments about what this course is about, and then what you can expect uh, the next time you log into the course, what you need to be completing. So there's a course online. It is from Mark Grossman, Remarks to the Center for Strategic and International Studies. He gave these remarks in 2002. And you'll find that source online. What I'd like for you to do is uh, read over it. It's only a couple of pages long. And then I want you to think about some of these questions. You don't have to answer all of these questions. But if you need help getting started, then you can use these questions to jumpstart your comments. But what you'll do is go to the discussion board and you will think about some of these things. What is your initial reaction to what Grossman has to say? Uh, according to Grossman, why is the U.S. not going to join the ICC, which is the International Criminal Court? And what might this reveal about America's role in the development and enforcement of international law? So look over that source and then uh, consider posting some of those uh, responses to some of these questions. Again, you don't have to respond to every question. You might have other comments you want to make, and that's fine too. But go ahead and participate in that discussion. I do want to share this map with you uh, that I think is, is, is very significant, and it's related to the reading. This is a map of all the countries around the world and their relationship with the ICC, the International Criminal Court. All of the green countries are members of the ICC. All of the yellow countries have signed, but their national legislatures have not yet ratified the agreement. So they plan to join, but they have not formally joined yet. The red countries have no plans of joining and want no part of the International Criminal Court. The orange countries signed the agreement, and then withdrew their signatures. So take a look. The United States and Russia loom large in that category. But pay attention to other countries, too, and think about why some countries have supported the ICC and why some have not. What is this course about? Uh, there are two main learning goals. We do a lot of historical content. That should not surprise you for a history class. Uh, but we also do a lot of historical thinking skills. And I just want you to realize we don't just read things to learn about them. We read things so that we can think more critically and analytically about them. So there are several readings in this course, and I want you to be I want you to read for content. I want you to learn new things. But I also want you to use the skills that historians do to think more critically about these topics. And that'll make more sense as we go through the course. Some of the teaching strategies that I employ uh, is collaborative learning. This is an online class, and I realize we don't meet face to face. But there are opportunities to collaborate online using different tools the university has. So just keep in mind that I'm a strong proponent of working together in groups and completing assignments together. I think it helps with the learning process. So we will be doing a lot of collaborative learning in the course. We will also be having a lot of participation and discussion. You need to be active on the discussion board so that other people can benefit from your point of view. Your point of view matters, and all of us can learn something from your perspective. So I just want you to be aware that this course is our course. 
Sorry about that, I got cut off. Uh, so just remember, participation is a big part of this course, and this is our course, so we can all learn something from each other. What I want you to do after you read the Grossman article and you post uh, your thoughts on that on the discussion board, make sure you take a look at the syllabus in detail and decide uh, if this is the best course for you. I have all the expectations listed in the syllabus, all the assignments, all the grading policies. So just be familiar with that and then take the syllabus quiz that's available online. So look over that and uh, complete the syllabus quiz ask any questions that you might have and i'll be happy to help you there the other thing i want you to do is another short reading from uh, barry schwartz it's called what learning how to think really means and i want you to look over that and also think about some of the questions that are listed on that source i have listed them here as well you don't have to answer all of these questions but after you read the source uh, this is an introduction to what it means to be a college level thinker so Go onto the discussion board and what is your reaction to what Schwartz has to say? Uh, what is his main point? What is he trying to prove? And do you agree with him? Why or why not? So uh, those are the things that we're going to work on here in the beginning parts of the course. And I just want to introduce myself. I'm Joseph Ross. Uh, contact me if you have questions, but I look forward to seeing you online.